Hello and welcome to something just a little bit different. Uh, this is the Burnt Mylander Cup. This is something that myself and Kevman came up with. And the idea here is that the, the drivers have to stay behind the safety car, but they have to race. They still have to try to beat each other. However, they must follow the line the safety car takes and they must behave. So any drivers who don't behave or any drivers who go past the safety car will get penalties. I'm pretty sure I can't score this and commentate at the same time. So I am going to commentate the race and if we see any penalties, I'll have the penalties on the screen and then hopefully I can come up with some sort of point system at the end of the race. Drivers themselves are, are well kitted out in the Group 2 machinery, which looks fabulous. They've done a great job with deliveries as always. A fantastic community, and if you want to come and join this community, hit the, the link in the description for our Discord. Come race with us, get in our videos, have some fun. We've got uh, McFlurry, Cedos Santos, Kevman, Ollie, Fat Cat Gaming, and Unicorn. So pretty soon, they're going to be catching up to the safety car. And they're going to have to behave behind it. So right now, they're all trying to get ahead of each other to make their lives easier behind the safety car because they're going to want to, to be as close as possible. Or so they think. You see, as you can see right now, the, the driver of the safety car, uh, myself, not really taking the racing line very seriously at all. So here comes the field. McFlurry leading the way. And McFlurry's actually gone off. Oh, so it's Ollie who's actually in the lead of this race right now. Is Ollie going to stop in time? He is. Oh, sorry, that's a penalty seed off Santos for, uh, for leaving the track. Uh, McFlurry, oh, he managed to stay on the track, so he's, he's all right. No penalty for him just yet. Oh, Ollie biffed the safety car. That's a penalty, Ollie. Come on, you've got to follow the line. Ollie hasn't followed the line. It's another penalty, Ollie. Oh, no. Uh, there's a few cars off there. Uh, I need to work out whose car is who. But yeah, there's definitely some penalties to be applied there. I think McFlurry and Fat Cat. Oh, no. Ollie, Kevman, big penalties. Uh, Cedar Santos was also off the track. That's another big penalty. I've got a 10 second time penalty as well. Get out of the way, Kevman. Safety car coming through. And uh, as you can see, that the panic on a few drivers there have just stopped. They know they're getting penalties. And now they've got to deal with the fact that the uh, safety car has a time penalty as well. So they're all going to have to slow down with the safety car. It's Fat Cat Gaming who's currently winning. Well, he's winning on track. We're going to have to see how many penalties people are getting. And, oh, did he manage to avoid contact? He's avoided contact. Oh, see that Santos, McFlurry and Ollie and Kevman all getting penalties there as they shoot past. You can see them driving back now. We're just waiting for the field to catch up. And then we'll get going again for the penultimate lap. Everybody reversing into position. Oh, they all know what they've done wrong. Who's that? That's Ollie. Well, he's smart enough to just sit there because he knows he hasn't got to reverse. The safety car will drive past anyway. Oh dear, oh dear. But this is a great track for it. Super is just so wibbly and windy. The field now look as though they're, uh, they're behaving a little bit better. Come on, Polyphony. You can't put safety cars in the game and expect us to not do things like this. Penalty line coming up. The, uh, the safety car is going to suddenly decelerate when he gets to the safety line. Oh, Cedar Santos into the back of Kevman. Kevman, oh, that's a penalty for both of you. Uh, I, I think. So here we go. It's a deceleration. Oh, Ollie. Ollie. <gasps> oh, I almost overtook the safety car. <laughs> Fat Cat Gaming says, no, I'm winning this race. We're about to start the final lap when we're around this corner. 
So this is when you're going to really start seeing some dirty tactics. Oh, Ollie hits the safety car. I don't care if he had an assist. Don't hit the safety car. Oh no! Something's gone terribly wrong with the back there for uh, Fat Cat Gaming. I think somebody got into him. And he hit the barrier, so uh, penalty. Ollie's around! Ollie's around and off. Uh, Kevman and Fat Cat. <laughs> and uh, I think Unicorn as well may have been off there. I couldn't really tell. I'll just give them more penalties anyway. Just on the safe side. And Cito Santos leads the way. That's a tricky line through there. Of course, I also told people that I'd have to see the, uh, the issue as well. So somebody might have been cheating their way through there. And I've not seen. That's okay. The stewards can't penalise what the steward don't see. It's the run to the final corner. Cesar Santos leads. Unicorn second. Unicorn's looking to go around the outside. I was pointing up. Oh, Cesar Santos penalty. Oh, <laughs> Ollie penalty. Um, so, I don't know. We'll have some points on screen. There's still chaos happening in the background there. We will have some points on screen and we'll find out who won the race because I have no idea. So we move on to Monza. This is just a, a three lap race. And let's try to pretend that the drivers actually know what they're doing now. Let's imagine that perhaps they've come up with some way of, uh, of racing that involves them not getting penalties. They've just set off. The flurry leading the way. We do have a little bit of a race on our hands before they catch up to the safety car. Who's going to be first out of that first corner? Oh, oh flurry there, a little bit janky with that connection. As always, flurry well known for his, uh, his interesting car movement. We've got Fat Cat Gaming in third place. He's doing quite well in these Group 2 cars. There's Ollie. There's Kevman. That black car there, very similar to the Controller Wars car. And a nice pass. Cedar Santos in fifth. Ollie got shuffled down to sixth there. Unicorn bringing up the rear. Unicorn biding their time, knowing that uh, things are going to get a little bit spicy when the cars catch up to the safety car, which isn't going to be too far now. So here they come, as we get towards uh, Curva Alboreto. Which means they're going to catch on the fastest part of the track, which isn't going to make anybody happy, I don't think. Or is it? Kevman the first to arrive on the scene, and we're on the approach to the first chicane how's this going to go oh the safety car got reset do we apply penalties there of course we consider it I suppose anybody who didn't follow the safety car they should have a penalty actually so I don't know am I being mean of course not, it's all part of the game. The Cedar Santos leading the way. As you come up to the second chicane. Oh, Cedar Santos drops it. Penalty and penalty for Fat Cat Gaming as well. Oh dear, oh dear. McFlurry takes the lead of the race. Hey McFlurry. All in all, that was pretty clean, especially when you compare it to uh, Sukuba. Just in position. And McFlurry just just in with his internet connection. See so Santos there looking for the lead of the race. Oh, but he gets shuffled back by McFlurry's defence. And McFlurry hits the safety car and passes it. That's two penalties, McFlurry. And uh, Kev Man, you have a penalty for going off track. And in the background there, I think uh, Unicorn was off. I couldn't quite tell if that was Unicorn though, so uh, no penalties applied there. In fact, bonus points to the safety car for being so far ahead of the accident. Uh, I don't know if that's the thing. Oh, see that Santos loses it in a big way and of course gets a penalty. Sorry. 
Uh, McFlurry over the line there, but so is the safety car, so that's allowed. And Fat Cat Gaming is now in the lead of this race. McFlurry's looking for a way past, he's found it. It looks like Fat Cat may have had to serve a penalty there. He's got over speed. Oh, Cidos Santos. He's just racking up the points, isn't he? <laughs> it looked like Fat Cat there trying to knock Kevman into the safety car. That is a strategy that I think people are trying to employ. And we're going through the pit lane. Because why not? Did anybody not go through the pit lane? Uh, let's have a look. Unicorn on intermediate tyres. No wonder they're so slow. Here we go. We we'll just uh, call in. Hey, everybody. How you doing? And off we go. So everybody went through the pit lane. People figured out that was a ruse. And we're on to the final lap. Uh, are these going to wet tyres? I'm not quite sure why. Someone's having a bit of a spin around. That was McFlurry. Did he touch the, uh, the barrier, do you think? I think we should give him half a penalty. I don't know. Fat Cat could win this race. All he's got to do is stay close, but not too close. In the background there, Kev, coming up the inside of McFlurry. Kev wanting to win this, he's got an overspeed. He bumps Fat Cat, who doesn't quite touch the safety car. Oh, it's all kind of shenanigans. Good old Kev Man past the safety car and got himself reset. So, uh, getting a slap on the wrist for that. So, good Fat Cat doing really well to just behave. And, oh, he almost touched. That was brilliant reactions there by Fat Cat. But, unfortunately, he did lose the position. McFlurry, where are you going? Oh, McFlurry hit the safety car. And Fat Cat went after the weather penalty. And, uh... Oh, Kevman has just snuck up. I think one of his sneaky, sneaky victories. Some chaos in the background, not quite sure who was causing the chaos. Ciro Santos, there was a penalty. Five second penalty on his final lap, so that is not good. Oh, Kevman, you can be penalised for that. And I think Unicorn as well. Ciro Santos into the barrier. Fat Cat Gaming off the track. It's just carnage. McFlurry was off, but that's fine because so was the safety car. He's a little bit close. Careful, McFlurry. You don't want to hit the back end of that safety car. Let's look at the other angle. There we go. Sounds not going to interfere with that. You following the safety car, everybody? Get following. Get following. There's, there's debris on the track over there. Ollie, you're on track. You should be off track. Penalty for Ollie for behaving. And Fat Cat's around to the perfect 360, keeps it going in the right direction. As the safety car scampers for the line, it's McFlurry leading the race. Oh, and he hits the safety car. McFlurry, but too eager. Oh, who won? I have no idea. It's not too light at Suzuka. And the lights on the safety car look great. There's no way the drivers are going to miss them. However, it is going to be kind of tough for me to spot all of the mistakes the drivers are making, which means that maybe, just maybe, some of them can get away with some more shenanigans. We'll have to wait and see. So here comes the field. Headlights ablaze. Fat Cat Gaming leading the way. He really is quite a specialist in his group twos, isn't he? It's, uh, Great to see him take it to them, although he uh, had a bit of a braking issue just there. Oh no, Fat Cat and uh, Kevin almost taking each other off. We're going to let them off. I think they're, they're just fine. They're doing all right. And this time, the safety car with a little bit of pace. The other driver's having to push to keep up. Oh, McFlurry, he's off. Oh, Kevman, off to the nether realm. Not quite sure about Cedos Santos, who spins uh, Fat Cat Gaming out and then takes himself and McFlurry out. So I'm not quite sure what he was thinking, but uh, thanks for providing some action. Fat Cat Gaming back into the lead of the race. Has a surprise with the safety car and nobody else really anywhere close. 
So, uh, back at doing the business. Nicholas, Cedar, Santos and McClurry and Kevman all together. How hot are they going to come in? It's all good. Everybody's behaving for the moment. Kevman with a penalty, so he's going to shuffle back. When you run the safety car, those penalties really do hurt. But of course you can pull them back. Oh, Kevin McClurry tangling. It's okay, Fat Cat Gaming way off into the gravel. Not quite sure where he's going. But there are penalties everywhere right now. The field really struggling with this track uh, under these circumstances. But apart from that, people have been relatively well behaved. We haven't seen anybody hit the safety car yet. Oh, but Ollie's just overtaken it. Ollie, that's a penalty. Asilo Santos has just hit it, so he's getting a penalty for that and for going off. Tut, tut, tut. Oh, McFlurry there. I think that was net code, which just launched him off the track at high speed. All kinds of carnage happening, but we can't tell what it is, so that's okay. It's allowed to happen. As per the rules, they can get away with all kinds of shenanigans as long as safety car doesn't see the rain has just started absolutely hammering it down uh, and this is going to be an interesting challenge are the cars going to pit if they pit they're not following the safety car nope they're still going back i came in there setting the fastest lap of this race and he's out to win it he's out to win it all Great to see. Look at that. Oh, do we need to stop? No. Everybody follow the safety car off. Come on, we're onto this bit just here. Who didn't follow? Something at the back there. Uh, can't tell who it is though. I can't tell what's happening, and that's good because that means people aren't getting penalties. As you can see, there is just no grip. Oh, Kevman and Ollie, you didn't follow the safety car off the track. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is when their racer instincts kick in, you see, and they're trying to stay on track. Unicorn was off. Oh, Unicorn's been at the back so much, uh, really playing the, the game by not getting penalties, but unfortunately, on that instance, Unicorn, we saw you, we caught you. You were off in the wrong place. Maybe I'll let it go, maybe not. As you can see, the field now a long way back. Unicorn, I think, had Inters on in the previous race and probably still has his Inters on. So here is a driver who's prepared for anything and is definitely prepared for this eventuality. So well done. Preparing now towards the end of the race. And oh, the safety car is in the barrier. Uh, Unicorn jumps off the same part of the track into the barrier. So no penalty there. You're just following the safety car. Brilliant stuff. Here we go, the last chicane for the final time in the rain. The rest of the field struggling. Great drive from Unicorn is going to bring it home to win the race. It doesn't have that many penalties really. Slowly, slowly around the last corner. So sure to not get any penalties of any kind. Great drive. A bit further back, Kevman on dry tyres, of course, couldn't go into the pits because the, uh, the safety guard didn't go into the pits. So Kevman, presumably on slicks, he's trying to bring that car home in second with Ollie in third. Of course, there's, uh, there's penalties as well, so who knows, they could have minus points for all we know. Due to its very nature, Bathurst is synonymous with safety cars. The penultimate sector of this track. Downhill, twisty, turny, tight and blind has been the scene of many an accident. With the safety car called out today, who will win this race? The chase is on. The safety car has been called out 
and now the stewards have gone for a cigarette break and so they're not going to be doing anything to watch what happens next and well it looks like McFlurry is powering his way up to the back of the safety car and there's Fat Cat Gaming again showing just how good he is in the group twos well 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 we've found his forte it would seem here we go the field just appearing in the background now catching up with the safety car, Cedar Santos in the lead. Kevman now in second. But will the drivers behave behind the safety car? That's the question. Here's McFlurry now joining the train. Kevman takes the lead of the race. Some nudging going on, some argy bargy, you might say. Kevman manages to uh, keep it on the black stuff. This is where he wants to be. Look for a look away. Yeah, looking for a way past. He's made it past. Cedar Santos also looking for a way past, but doesn't make it past. So, uh, plenty of battling going on back there. Oh, McFlurry into the barrier. McFlurry, what are you doing? Again, point shot now. Ollie's joined the fray and it slips into first place. Ollie, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, was there contact there with the safety car? I don't think there was contact with the safety car. Let you get away with that. There aren't really any alternate routes that the safety car can take in this race. Oof, oh, no, that's a penalty for the safety car. So, uh, I don't know. But McFlurry taking emphasis off the fact that I didn't know what to say about the safety car getting a penalty. Into the barrier, getting himself a penalty. And uh, oh, Kevman and Ollie coming together. Kevman cheating like a stinker. But it's going to be Ollie that gets the penalty because he's off the track. Uh, there you go. There's a bit of uh, vigilante justice for you. Oh, Cedar Santos absolutely murders the safety car. Uh, McFlurry murders him. So. Um, uh, Kevman getting a penalty. Uh, I see somebody else was involved then as well, but we see who it all happened so fast. So many penalties. It's Grand Turismo 7, the real penalty simulator. See us. <laughs> I think they're trying to murder Fat Cat Gaming. Guessed it wrong. Gets himself a penalty. Oh dear. Oh, the shenanigans. I thought we were going to be uh, sensible after Suzuka, but no, it didn't happen like that. Big, big penalty for the safety car. Who's just coming through? It's Ollie! No! Ollie, that is a penalty! What were you thinking? Ollie there, clearly unsighted, didn't realise the safety car was going so slowly. Oh, in fact, that game is very close there. Can we uh, get a penalty? Just wander across the, the grass and the sand. Nice day for it. Everybody come in? Who's that not coming? Is that Ollie? Oh, Ollie's not following the safety car. Slap on the wrist for you, Ollie. Bit of a reprimand. And it's Fat Cat Gaming who is in the lead as we approach the final corner to go on to the last lap. Slowly does it. Slowly does it. Kevman there lurking in the background. Kevman's going to want that second place. Oh, gives Fat Cat a little nudge. We'll call that a bump draft. And there we go, a bit more of a bump draft, and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Fat Cat Gaming absolutely murdered in that first corner by Kevman. Um, and it's uh, Fat Cat who gets the penalty for leaving the track. This is a really mean game, I should not have come up with this. Uh, but if you want to come and do this with us, then just hit the link for our Discord in the description. And uh, yeah, come and be part of the fun. Oh, McClurry! He's overtaken the safety car. I think all of his own volition. I didn't see Kevman hit him at all. So, McFlurry, penalty for you. Slap on the wrist. Oh, <laughs> Kevman, you hit the wall. You've got a penalty as well. And uh, I think McFlurry may have just biffed the safety car into the wall. So, McFlurry comes with a penalty as well because I'm feeling like it. Uh, unicorn. I haven't seen Unicorn this race. We're going to give Unicorn a penalty just for been so far back and not getting into trouble I don't know maybe not maybe Unicorn's just playing the safe game 
but back cat gaining once again into the lead of the race as we begin to head downhill this is where the shenanigans will happen oh Ollie and Cedos Santos they get penalties for going past the safety car and McFlurry gets a penalty for taking the wrong route and uh, as soon as we come back because I think Cedos Santos was going the wrong way completely um, with back cat gaining there he is um, McFlurry with a massive penalty oh penalties for everybody McFlurry into the wall Fat Cat Gaming murdering the safety car. Uh, who hit the wall behind? I think Unicorn and Silas Santos both hit the wall. That wasn't even an intended stop there by the safety car, and Holly's hit the safety car now. Holly, what are you doing? Oh, Silas Santos once again, another penalty. I'm pretty sure. It's not going to be about positions now. It's going to be about who got the fewest penalties overall. Here comes Unicorn Stevens with a field look. Unicorn into uh, the lead briefly. There's Ollie. Where's Tito Santos gone? There he is. Oh, you're off. Safety cars around, but don't worry. You haven't all got to uh, spin round. <laughs> Ollie and Tito Santos uh, passing the safety car. I don't know if that was intentional or not. I don't think it was. And. Well, I, I don't know what to make of that. See that Santos there with a 35 second penalty. Uh, he must have murdered absolutely everybody. Is Fat Cat Gaming going to win this? Because he is right behind the safety car. He's right in the, the correct place. Should have known better. You should know better. Fat Cat, you're going to get murdered there. Fat Cat gets a penalty. See that Santos gets a penalty. Oh, uh, you get a penalty. You get a penalty. Everybody gets a penalty. Penalties all around. Is anybody else off? I don't know. Nobody really knows what's happening. Ollie's off. And uh, I just don't know. I, I feel like somebody may have quit as well. <laughs> it's all bonkers. Yeah, we've lost the unicorn. And Cedar Santos wins because I don't know. Everybody else has passed the safety car. I don't know who wins that. Oh no. The penultimate race going to be a Grand Valley sunset so once again a little bit dark the lights will look nice but ultimately it might be tricky to see what's happening so a few people could get away with their shenanigans there you go got headlights in the background the field's about to catch up with the safety car with so many challenging corners and hairpins on the Grand Valley circuit how are the drivers going to behave there's a lot of sand either side of the track a lot of places that things can go horribly horribly wrong almost halfway to the race actually and the uh, the field haven't yet really caught the safety car so the group twos not really performing very well here but this does mean with all the cars being out of sight of the safety car there are currently no penalties being applied. Is this perhaps tactical from the drivers? Well, here comes Cedar Santos, the first driver to catch up with the safety car, and even he's hanging back. Oh, look at this, the whole field of being sneaky and holding back. Well, well, well. It looks like they're trying to out safety car the safety car, but not Kevman. Kevman's happy to come and join the safety car get the win and be away from all of the other cars well done Kevman you're the brave one we're about to start the final lap so there's only going to be one lap behind the safety car really we're about to cross the line we've got uh, Cedar Santos catching up as well Kevman getting the fast lap of the race Cedar Santos going for a dive on Kevman Kevman blocks it and the safety car <laughs> drops it uh, oh, Kevman, Tio Santos and McFlurry all go through. That's going to be a penalty for you guys. And for Ollie. Oh dear, oh dear. Don't you know how to follow a safety car? Fat Cat Gaming there sneaks into the lead of the race as he does. Oh dear, oh dear. Shenanigans. Oh. 
the safety car once again drops it, and that's McFlurry through. That's Tito Santos through. Ollie and Kevman and Unicorn all through. Fact that gaming the only one who had presence of mind to actually stop. We're not going to penalise him for, uh, for that just there because he did it, he stopped. Where is everybody else? They're all looking like they've been very, very naughty. Uh, whistling innocently. We didn't come past. We didn't see anything. That's what happens in the dark. Although, how can you miss these bright, flashing blue lights in the dark, people? Come on! Get it together. Fat Cat Gaming resumes the lead of the race, but he's got a 10 second penalty. Oh, this safety car doesn't like this track at all. It is all over the place. Tito Santos, he's around and into the barrier. We'll, uh, we'll penalise you for that. That's dangerous driving. And there we've got a penalty line coming up. Is anybody going to shoot past the safety car again? We shall see in just a moment. It's only a five second penalty. I think there's much bigger penalties behind, like Flurry there with 25 seconds. McFlurry, what have you done? Have you run over a kitten or something? Oh, McFlurry hits the safety car. And I didn't see any kind of assist there at all. And Cito Santos hits the safety car. Oh dear, oh dear. And McFlurry overtakes the safety car. So it's just gone from bad to worse. Cito Santos as well. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, here we go. It's a sprint for the line. You can call it a sprint. And it's Ollie who leads the race. With Kevman in second, and that's a very understeery safety car. Ollie back in right off to be extra, extra sure he doesn't overtake the safety car. Kevman now right behind Kevman, poised for the win. We're almost at the end of the lap. Just as long as the safety car doesn't do anything particularly uh, silly, shall we say. Kevman should have this in the bag. Oh! Backcat gaming into the back of the safety car. I see that Santos there uh, hits Ollie, which is absolutely fine, but then Ollie hits the wall, which is penalty worthy because it's a cruel, cruel game. And I think Kevman just dropped it. Backcat could win this race. But wait! See that Santos hits the back of the safety car. McFlurry hits the wall. I. I don't know what's going on right now, but it looks as though McFlurry and Fat Cat Gaming may have passed the safety car on the line. With uh, with Oli Unicorn, Silo Santos and Kevman being in the right place, this is going to be one for the boffins. You can't have a chaos event without a nighttime race at Nürburgring Nordschleife. Two laps of the 24-hour circuit. This is going to be... It's going to be something. It's probably not going to be something good, but it'll be something. Here you go. This should give you some idea of just how dark this part of the circuit is. It's very dark indeed, and we've got the field streaming up behind us. Fat Cat Gaming in the lead. Hi, Fat Cat. We've got uh, Kevin and Cedar Santos there in the background. Hi, guys. Nice to see you. To see you nice. And a bit of biffing going on there. It's so dark that you've got to assume that only the cars closest to the safety car are going to be getting any penalties in this race and that right now Cedar Santos Fat Cat Gaming that is Kevman there in the background uh, I was looking at the leaderboard there and didn't see if anybody actually hit the barrier but I did see Cedar Santos there past the safety car briefly so he's going to be pretty annoyed about that remember the uh, safety car only on comfort tyres so the safety car driver that is me having all kinds of concerns. The other cars, I think, are mostly on slicks. There's probably a couple of drivers who have decided to fit rain tyres, just in case I was that mean. Am I that mean? We'll find out before the end of the race. It's a two-lap race. And things are lightening up. Oh, Cedar Santos just dropped it. No penalty for that, but all oh, Fat Cat Gaming dropped it as well. No penalty for that either, because there was no kind of uh, wall infraction, but, uh, well, that's shuffled the field up. We've got Kevman now leading the race with Ollie second. And they're staying well back from the safety car. I don't know if that's intentional or not. But they're just all jostling with each other. Well, the field are a long way back. And look, the windscreen wipers are on. 
it's official. I was mean enough to put rain on for this uh, this final race on the Nordschleife. The question is, are we going to let the drivers have fresh tyres or not? Well, we'll have to wait and see when we get around to the start-finish straight. Are we going to pass the pit lane? Are we going to bolt on some wet tyres? You'll find out, oh, someone there in the barrier. Couldn't really tell who it was from this range, but somebody having a very bad day back there. Kevman catching up to the safety car. We've got Cedar Santos with him as well. These two have been a feature of this event. Oh, Kevman almost off the track at that point. Everyone hanging back. Of course, this is a very long track. There's plenty of room and nobody's going to win the race on the first lap. So why not just hang back, not get any penalties. And Cedar Santos there. Oh, it's the barrier. And also Fat Cat Gaming hits the barrier. So that's unfortunate. Kevman in the background did hit the barrier as well. He was uh, he was biffed off there by Fat Cat Gaming. I'm not quite sure who that was in the barrier at the background, but uh, no penalty can be applied for that. Where are you going to see the Santos? Oh, it's another penalty. Oh man, sucks to suck, as, uh, as Fat Cat would say. So, we can't really talk about... Oh dear, Cesar Santos with a penalty. Kevman with two penalties, one for going off, uh, one for hitting the safety car. Goodness me. Oh, Cesar Santos off again. The safety car off as well. It's getting very, very wet out there. Of course, it could be worse. Or could it be worse? Uh, I don't think it could be worse, no. Yes, it could be darker. I've, I've at least allowed the sun to come off a little bit. So McFlurry now over oh, the safety car. Oh, McFlurry hits the safety car. I think you'll all agree there's absolutely no assist there from Cedar Santos. McFlurry obviously hit the safety car on purpose. And Cedar Santos not getting a penalty for that because the safety car was reversing. And off we go. Once again, the procession proceeds. A proceeding procession. McFlurry leading the race. Cedar Santos there looking good with 20 seconds worth of penalties. Uh, what have you been up to? Oh, McFlurry! Should we penalise him for touching the wall? I think we should, it's only fair. I see those Santos there, very close. You know, you get close to a safety car like that, the safety car driver gets a little bit twitchy and, uh, and perhaps does things which are not conducive to you scoring points. We shall see. We've got Unicorn just at the end of this pack here, lurking in the background. Unicorn's done very well to stay clean. Oh, McFlurry, have a penalty. You know you want to. Now the rain's getting heavier and heavier. This way, everybody's gonna struggle. Ollie, off into the wall. Cito Santos touching the safety car. It was only very light, but it was a touch. Uh, and there's a barrier touch as well. So Unicorn, uh, Unicorn getting in there and playing the game by the rules, giving their opponents penalties. And you can see them all bashing each other, trying to get them into Barriers, oh, McFlurry into the barrier. See those Santos into the barrier. Oh goodness me, what have I done? Okay, the field's on to catch up once again. Kevman in the lead. We've got Unicorn in second, they're almost losing it. Uh, McFlurry in third, just in the background. Oh! Oh, Unicorn there, pointing off Kevman and then dropping it themselves. Also, McFlurry dropping it. Ollie popping into the lead for a moment, uh, then Kevman and Ollie and Kevman both off. Oh dear, oh, and Unicorn off. But I didn't actually see Unicorn hit the barrier. Hmm. I don't know, the jury's out on that one. Oh, Unicorn slipping into the lead. Kevman almost, almost off. Uh, Kevman <laughs> trying to murder Unicorn and missing and hitting the barrier. So, Kevman, that was not a good thing to do. Ollie in the lead. Is this his race? With a 15 second penalty, just like the safety car. So, Ollie can gun it and he's not gonna overtake the safety car. In theory. We shall see. Somebody's dropped once again. Unicorn has dropped. Oh, unlucky Unicorn. Everybody looking very, very slow back there. There's a lot of penalties being served. So yeah, Unicorn didn't have a great connection for this event. Very unfortunate. 
but still, it was great to have them racing with us. Can Ollie win this race? Well, we're still on the first lap, although we're approaching the end of the first lap. Ollie flashing his lights to say, please let us go in the pits. Please let us go in the pits. <laughs> I don't know. Should I let them pit for wet tyres? Should I just make them suffer? Oh, how evil am I feeling? Kevman lurking in the background there, waiting for Ollie to make a mistake. Or waiting for uh, me to make a mistake. We shall see. That's, uh, that's not the entrance to the pit lane, that's the entrance to the other configuration pit lane. Here's the pits coming up. Are we going in? Are we staying out? Oh dear, we're staying out on our wet tyres. On our wet and dry tyres. Well, well, well. Everyone on slicks is about to have a really tough lap. Oh, Kevin and Ollie, they're coming together. McFlurry coming to join in. Cedar Santos, a fair way back. Fat Cat Gaming, a very long way back. He's uh, he's really struggled with this one. Hardly surprising, it's been a nightmare. But these three looking very well behaved behind us, all of a sudden. Ollie, Kevman, McFlurry, they've got to know now that any penalties they get on the track are going to be an absolute nightmare because they're going to have to serve them right towards the end of the race. Oh, are they getting a little bit close there? The driver's getting a little bit, um, a little bit hopeful. Cedar Santos cruising up to join the back of the field. Uh, I'm not going to pen, I'm not going to penalise Cedar Santos for that. There was no kind of wall hit. Oh, McFlurry! <laughs> Let's just put Ollie into the barrier. That's going to be a penalty for Ollie, even though it's McFlurry that hit him, because uh, that's how this game works. It's the real penalty simulator. Kevman takes the lead. It's a place he's been a lot today, but uh, being in the lead doesn't mean scoring the most points. Osio Santos. Oh, it's clipped the safety car. Oh dear, oh dear. What were you thinking? That's Kevman in to the lead. Ollie there just hanging on in the background. As we go on to the Nordschleifer proper. For the final time. Oh, Sido Santos around. I'm not going to score penalties for that particular part of the track because the, the barrier actually meets the track there. So uh, I don't think that would be fair. And it's not a very fair event, but, uh, you know, you've got to try and make some concessions somewhere. Oh, who's that? That's Ollie. Ollie's dropped it. Ollie's dropped it into the barrier. We hit it twice, but I'm going to count it as one instant because uh, it was. McFlurry and Kevman, these two have history. Neither of them are going to want to relinquish the position to the other. McFlurry very close to the back of the safety car. Oh, Sino Santos gets a penalty. McFlurry gets a penalty. What are you like? That's not driving proper. Or is it? Seems to be leaving everybody behind now. You can see by the windscreen wipers, the rain has stopped, but the track is still very wet and the safety car is around. Bonus points for the safety car driver for dropping it. And Kevman McFlurry, Ollie, you can have penalties for hitting the safety car. Uh, big blue flashing lights should have braked earlier. And so we're off again. But of course, this track is not going to be dry by the time we get back around. Not with just one lap. So Kevman there sitting in the spray. Oh, McFlurry barging his way through. That was actually a pretty good pass, McFlurry. I think Kevman is going to be a little bit unhappy that he's lost the place. And oh, Kevman hits the barrier after trying to take McFlurry off. Tut, tut, tut. And we've lost another drive. We've lost Fat Cat Gaming. Who knows? He's got no chance of catching up. Uh, Cito Santos. 
Oh, there's a lot of a lot of bashing there. I think the Santos and Kevman both hit barriers, so you can both have penalties. And I don't know. At this point, I think somebody who didn't enter is going to be the person most likely to win. Kevman coming up behind the safety car. McFlurry still second place. Oh, McFlurry got a little bit of a, a drive on the grass. There's Ollie. I can't see Silo Santos anywhere. He's he's really dropped back. There he is. So his accident must have left him all out of shape in the wrong direction on the grass, upside down on fire. Perhaps not the last two bits, but you know what I mean. Oh, McFlurry's close. Oh, Ollie and Silo Santos. Penalties for both of you for hitting the wall. It was a nice attempt to take down. Didn't work. But uh, it could have worked. You know, you have to try these things. <laughs> Kev Madden McFlurry side by side. Neither of them wanted to get in trouble. Oh, Silo Santos barging his way through. Could have been a good move. He was definitely on, but he hit the barrier. So, I'll have to try that again. Or not. We shall certainly see. Every tired at this point, especially the safety car driver and the person talking on this video. But the sun is out. There could be some dry spots emerging. Who knows? Silo Santos there with 35 seconds of penalties once again. Oh, that driver collects penalties. It's McFlurry who looks like they could be up for the checkered flag on this one. Weaving around, trying to get some heat in those tyres. Don't weave around too much or you'll find yourself facing the wrong direction. Oh, Holly they set off a magnificent domino effect which saw McFlurry smashed into the barrier. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it was certainly pretty spectacular. Well done, Ollie. So, uh, McFlurry a long way back now. I take everything back I said about him going for this win. Might do, because half a lap left. He can still come back. Oh, safety car sideways. Everyone going to stop in time? I think they have this time. See those Santos somehow they're not touching the safety car. Missing it by inches. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. I'll give a penalty to, uh, to Tweetman for that. So here comes Kev. And McFlurry once again to resume their rivalry at the front. Look at Ollie streaming through. Kev Man smacked into the barrier. Uh, I don't know if that's by McFlurry or Cedar Santos. I'll be upset entertaining. If you can see the Santos, here he is. Getting a penalty for overtaking the safety car. McFlurry and Ollie side by side. The track definitely try definitely drying, but not dry enough for the slick tyres that those drivers are on. And that's the way it's going to be right to the end of the race. Despite this sun, you can still see the spray being kicked up. Ollie with 15 seconds of penalties. McFlurry with 10 seconds of penalties. McFlurry in a better position. Oh, Ollie biffed into the safety car. Ollie gets the penalty. See that Santos flies into the barrier to rack up now 40 seconds of penalties. Oh, there's some very questionable driving going on. Which is what we like to see in events like this one. Ollie dangerously close to the back of that safety car. Look out, McFlurry's coming through. And McFlurry's in the barrier. That was silly, McFlurry. Guess he couldn't quite figure out his closing speed because the safety car was going so slowly. Here comes Ollie quite fast. And Kevman. Oh, Ollie's in the wall. Sid of Santos is in the wall. Kevman's in the wall. Everyone in the wall. And that looks like McFlurry round, but I think he avoided the wall from what I could see. So we just have to uh, go to the back of the class. Oh! Kevman and Cesar Santos. I won't give you the wrong penalties there because that was some entertainment. An entertainment value sort of bonus. Okay, we're approaching the final part of the race now and McFlurry has found his way into the lead. This Cesar Santos. Kev. Uh, Kev just lost out to Ollie. Cedar Santos there pushes McFlurry into the barrier. Oh, he's definitely, definitely working the system here. 
trying to cause as many people as possible to get penalties and hope they'll win. We shall see. Oh, Ollie there spears into the barrier. That wasn't very safe, Ollie. And I'm pretty sure there was an assist. Kevman once again finds his way into the lead of this race. How does he do it? He just keeps coming back for more. Here comes McClory. Oh, I think he was going for the punt and missed. Cedar Santos, look at that for a move. Making the most of his 45 seconds of penalties. And uh, Kevman uh, parking it in the barrier because that's where he wants to be. We're about to go full throttle for the final time. McFlurry, have a barrier. I don't know who's going to win this. I hope Silo Santos hit a barrier as well. Everyone I think has got roughly the same amount of penalty points. Uh, I'm not sure. They might not. I've, I've lost track so long ago. McFlurry overtook the safety car. That's a no-no, McFlurry. You don't do that. And it's at the barrier as well, so it's all going so wrong for McFlurry right now. Kevman just sitting there waiting to pounce. Wanted to go for the win. Oh, McFlurry in the wall. I mean, I know he was pushed in the wall, but McFlurry in the wall. Uh, Ollie, background, Ollie in the background there, backwards. Get my words out eventually and here we go for penalty season this is where we all say goodbye to Cedar Santos who has enough penalties for the entire field we're all going very very slowly there's going to be a sprint to the finish line for the honour of victory here we go Flurry still with another 10 second of penalties to serve we'll just wait for everybody shall we because that'll be the most fun Oh, Kev! Oh, manages to avoid the safety car. Well done, Kev. You did very well just then. You've got to assume that because that failed, the safety car driver might try that same uh, shenanigan again. Bit of a high-speed brake check, maybe. Kev, man, definitely looking for the win. Nobody else coming close or low. We've got McFlurry now appearing. McFlurry could snatch this one. Oh, he's just uh, lost traction there. It's the run to the line. Oh, it's the brake trap for the line. Oh, McFlurry biffs the safety car across the line. Uh, Kev takes the win and then McFlurry. Cedar Santos there all kinds of issues oh where's he going going to the pits I think Oli just biffed Cedar Santos into the pits uh, but the safety car is well out of the way so nobody saw it and that is a uh, legitimate strategy so here are the final scores and did that go the way you expected it to Thank you to our Discord members who make these events possible. Thank you, of course, to our channel sponsor Button Bashers for PCs, consoles, games and accessories. And thank you to our Patreon patrons for supporting the channel in their unique way. Until next time, try to be respectful of the safety car and avoid penalties. Bye-bye for now.